to look at one example in applying Riemann sum using the right endpoints and evaluating the integral. So remember the definition, how we applied that. X sub zero is nothing but A. And X sub N is equal to B. And A in this case is given to us as C. So delta X by definition is B minus A divided by N or three minus zero divided by six or it is just a half. It means that the length or the width of the subintervals is a half. Width of the subintervals. Well, so how we can apply that here? X sub zero or A is zero. The next point is zero plus the width, a half, which is a half. The next point is a half plus the width, which is one. The next point is one plus a half, three halves. The next point, three halves plus a half or two. Next point, two plus a half, which is five halves. The next point, five halves plus a half, which is six divided by two and reach to three. So here you have these sub intervals, starting at zero, stopping at a half. Starting at a half, stopping at one. Starting at one, stopping at three halves. Starting at three halves, stopping at two. Starting at two, stopping at five halves. Starting at five halves and stopping at three. These are your sub intervals. One, two, three, four, five, six sub intervals. Now let's take a look at this. Here we're going to Use the Riemann sum for the right endpoints. So R sub C is equal to okay. The right endpoint is a half. Okay. So I have a half. And I need to enter a half into this function to find the height. Okay, so I have a half. To the third minus six times a half. This is your height multiplied by the width, which is a half plus. So we're done with the first sub interval. For the second sub interval, the right endpoint is one. So you're going to enter one into the function to find the height. So here you have one to the third minus six times one, this is your height of the second sub-interval times its width, which is a half plus. Now you're working with the third sub-interval. To find the height, you're going to enter the right endpoint, which is three halves. So you're going to enter three halves to the function minus six times three halves. This is the height multiplied by the width, which is a half. Continue this. So again, we have a height here plus. So now we're moving to one, two, three, fourth sub-interval with right endpoint, which is two. Now you're going to enter two into the function. Two to the third minus six times two times the width plus now five halves, five halves to the third minus six times five halves times a half plus, and the last one is going to have the right endpoint, which is three. Okay, so now here you have three to the third minus six times three times the width, and if we just add these together, it's going to be um, let me see. It's going to be just let's write down all the decimals. Negative 3.9375. Guys, note that it's a negative value. So this guy doesn't represent the area. It might be something differently, something else.
So this is using the sub intervals, am I right? You might be saying that, hey, how can I get a much better value? Now we're going to switch 